Itoi, where our political reporter Murimi Mwangi is on standby to give us an update. Murimi, good morning. Has voting begun? What is the situation? <laughs> Good morning, Ashley. Well, a big day to Kitui West constituency, the by-election D-Day happening today. Uh, this, of course, being a Matignani mixed uh, a polling station, uh, three streams here. But the turnout, as you can see, not any queue that you can spot here. Just a few uh, voters walking in and out to cast their ballots. It has been a rainy uh, night here in Kitui, and perhaps that could uh, explain why the turnout has been such a, a small number in uh, these morning hours. Uh, we expect the, po the, the voting to proceed up until uh, 5 in the evening. That's when it's supposed to pave way for uh, the counting of the votes as well as the tallying of the votes ultimately to uh, have a declaration of who will be the Kitui West MP elect. Only one uh, ballot box. This, of course, a departure from tradition in the general election where you have uh, the ballot uh, boxes for the other elective seats. The member of parliament is the seat in contest here. Uh, a very few uh, voters standing out, as I said, and perhaps if we could just illustrate the process to you, the very first stage here being where the voter is identified. Uh, technology being uh, what is being used this time, the KM's kit. And of course, as you could see uh, from the initial voter who was to be identified here, having been sent to the other stream, that's perhaps where uh, the name is. Uh, you can have a look here, the biometric identification, uh, one which uh, will identify if uh, she can cast her vote in this particular stream, uh, keeping tabs with that, getting to see how that goes on. The identification, this being the very first uh, stage in the entire process. Some errors here on the system as we get to see what's happening here. But a very big day for uh, Kitui West constituency. Remember, of the five candidates that are contesting this seat, one of them is the widow to the immediate former MP here, Francis Nyenze, who passed away in December last year. Her name is uh, Beth Nyenze. The four other candidates, of course, being Lady Mutiso of NAC Kenya, as well as Elijah uh, Kilonzi, uh, the other candidate being Frida uh, Niva, and of course, the other one being uh, David Muli. Five candidates contesting to fill the seat that has been vacant for quite some months now. Uh, you remember this is a constituency that holds a strategic uh, position to Kitui politics in general, and therefore the outcome here will be one that will be closely watched. Uh, we realize the initial voters' identification didn't quite work out. Let's see uh, what happens this time. The identification, of course, being a critical stage. Remember, these are some of the changes to the Kenyan electoral system that were meant to ensure that a specific voters or the, uh, the ideal voter who is registered to vote is the one who gets to cast uh, a ballot. Let's walk into the other stream, see if we could uh, get uh, a presiding officer whom we can speak to, to just get to know how